hello buddies so in this video we are going to see about uh, uh, how to use websocket in Kotlin uh, using uh, Kato okay so how to call websocket uh, using Kato so for this one we already saw how to what is the what is Kato and how to implement Kato everything right so we have to implement just one more dependency for this one so this one the websocket dependency we have to add uh, for this web website okay so website dependency we need to add and this work okay http so this is the engine so work okay http engine we need to use last time we used this android engine so but uh the website we have to use work okay http engine and these two dependencies don't forget okay after this one uh, i'm just yeah, directly going to add the installation so the same thing so what we did for uh, rest api the same thing uh a few alterations so the engine we can't use android engine so we are going to use okay http engine so once we added okay http we need to install one more thing install website okay so we need to install the website then we can you we can call the website in our application directly okay then uh, what i have done was uh, in the view model i have uh, i have i added one uh, uh, sort socket method okay in the sort socket method the same architecture uh, in the previous video we have the post details right so the same post details it, it's it, it's nothing but the new people so it's nothing but it's a list of post method okay it's a list of post method uh post is nothing but it's have some few details okay uh, i am just adding uh, it is a just a string value nothing uh, more difference only string value i am appending the string value in this title model class okay so this will this will be a list this list will be loop in uh, here okay in the class we are going to loop here and we are going to show uh, uh, the socket response in the lazy column okay so that's why i added the added as a list whenever the uh, uh, socket is responding it will add it in the list okay here in this callback so this is a, this this is a use case socket use case as creator so in this use case the callback will come okay in the callback is the callback value is the response of uh, website value okay so you can we can see the user case use case is normal actually i i import this repository the repository contains all the codes okay so this main repository called start socket okay so this callback will be called in the view model and the callback i am sending as a parameter to short socket okay the uh, in the short socket i we are going to write uh, the this method okay socket method okay as usual try catch try catch as usual try catch then log e error okay okay done then uh, inside this so uh, already we have a http client right so using this client only we are going to call okay http client dot websocket so that's it so we do uh, you call the website the thing is the socket url we have to use the which socket url we are going to use so this is my local host directory i have a project so i have uh, uh, created a website by in my local so that's why i'm using local id we can't find any uh, live thing so i am just using i developed this one and i am using my local one i just run this one okay so this is the local project so once i run it it will work okay socket service i am going we have to send the socket service in the parameter once we pass this one we will get the um, we will get uh, the incoming it's like it, it will come as a incoming okay for we have to get messages in incoming there will be a parameter called incoming in the incoming the messages will be we can loop the message then inside this not while is when okay in the when messages okay messages will be a type of frame okay is it's a sealed class frame dot uh sealed interface mostly uh text okay a text okay yeah uh we have a lot of other stuffs also other variations of this one okay other things okay we are not going to use this binary and ping pong closed all those things all it will if if the socket is closed means you will get the response over here you can use it as a uh, error message if the socket is closed you will get this thing. if it is a ping means if the server is pinging you pinging me means it's like a hit it's there is no value will come it's like a hit and binary means it will come as a binary value it's like sorry example some images or something like that anything 
ஃபார் ஃபை வி மே ஸோ நவ் ஃபார் திஸ் சாக்கெட் வில் கிவ் அ ரிட்டன் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஓன்லி ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு பாஸ் டு த கால் பேக் கால் பேக் டாட் வி நீட் டு கெட் அ மெசேஜ் டாட் ரீட் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஓகே வி வி ரீட் லைக் திஸ் இட் வில் கம் So I am sending the callback to this socket method. This socket method I am calling in the user use case. I am using this use case in this view model. Okay. In this view model, this use case dot execute. So this is the list we are looping over there. And I am adding the adding uh, in that list. The value is it. I am adding the it over here. So if I run right now, it will load. and a few more notes you have to add so if when i am running in a local and i am running i'm going to run in a emulator so it will have we need to add uh, these things it's like clear test traffic it will give a clear test traffic error if you run without this you have to add the clear test traffic and then network security policy if you need it okay so network security policy the you need to create this one so if the if your server doesn't need means you don't want to do that if your server need it means you have to do this one so i i do like my server port name so i i give the ip address of my server my server means my local so my local port name and i added a network security policy and then i added this one to the manifest file okay so this thing is important and if you can see here uh mostly all done uh if in here okay http install in okay that's it then if i run right now socket will return a uh, socket i called so this start socket method i called in the on init okay so whenever the activity created the socket will call automatically we will get the response i'll just run the uh, application once we run the application uh, we will get the response directly so i am i i just add the timestamp it's like one big string it's like countdown with timestamp will count all the it uh, one second interval it will come uh with the difference okay so that's how i did all uh, i have done in the back end coding for uh, web socket it will flow like this okay mm, uh, i don't want to code everything don't want to waste your time of coding all those things use case uh, so that's why i pre pre defined everything only for the web socket thing i am having okay okay right now it's done okay 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 what is there where is it it's it didn't call okay some errors so it's something wrong with my back end server actually i just uh, rerun it it's now so you can see it now here the count is printing for each second the times uh, time stamp and count so this is from i didn't do anything so that those are from direct uh this socket code this socket code is running over there so okay it, it is running like that okay so this is how we need to call web socket in our uh, using ktor okay yeah